Yeah, I mean, we took – he said he wanted to take 33 – or 30 before the game, and he said if we got high, he wanted to take 50. So, um, you know, it's just his – it's his style. It's what he's – he's kind of embedded in us, and that's how we play in practice. So, you know, it makes it makes the game fun, and it makes it fun to watch for the fans. And, I mean, they were – they were all behind us tonight, and we felt it. And, I mean, it's that much more of a help in the game. It's awesome. <clears throat> I think, you know – the best fan base is get involved, but now they have something to really get involved about. Like, you know, you hear about the story fan bases like the Cameron Crazies and Big Blue Nation, but like now, like we want to create our own along with our brand that, that'll, you know, get involved like that. And now, now we have a tradition that can really, you know, has a lot of potential. I'm surprised you had a little bit of a rough year too last year. Uh, you got off to a great start tonight, 21 points. So you really like this. This is hopefully a good omen for you for the rest of the year. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, it worked. It was frustrating last year, you know, um, throughout the season. But, you know, I worked I worked in the summer, and, you know, it comes along with, you know, your teammates touching you. Mike saw I was hitting some, so he kept telling me to shoot. But, I mean, it's just, you know, it feels good to feel good. Coach says that all the time, and, you know, it, it did tonight. Yeah. Michael. Guys, at this point in your career, I mean, you guys have played together. What? How, how many years have you guys played together? How many years have we played together? So I actually was thinking about this yesterday. I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> so I counted. We played uh, two years in middle – no, three years in elementary school. Um, and then we played two years in middle school, five years – well, I played high school. So I guess we played all of this. So it's that sense. So, just no, two, eight. so about eight or nine years. So when you guys are out there on the court, I mean, you pretty much know what the other one's thinking, right? Yeah, pretty much, just, yeah. Just talk about your all's chemistry together. I mean, for, for playing together for so long, now out there, just talk about, you know, what you guys know about each other when you're out there playing. Yeah, I'll go. Um, you know, it was, it was kind of weird when I first came back, you know, trying to figure each other out again. But now at this point, we kind of – I mean, he makes reads that – you know, we just lock eyes in practice or we'll lock eyes in games. We know exactly what we need each other to do. We'll find each other and they'll hit an open shot. So it's just that it's easier because we know each other. We know how each other think. We think alike. And I think it makes it that much easier on the court for each other. And then, I mean, just like, like I said, knowing each other. But, yeah. it's I mean, to me, it's like having a sibling out there just because it's been, you know, a really long time of us playing together. And, uh, you know, I, I know when he, he gets cooking, like, and I know when he's not cooking that we can get him cooking. So, like, that's, you know, I feel like my, my only goal is, you know, I know what he's going to do. I know what he's going to be, you know, where he's going to be. I know what reads he likes to make and everything. So, going along with that and, you know, just trying to push him to be, you know, the best he can be because I know what he's capable of. One more question. Talk about the depth of this team. I mean, you guys are loaded from top to bottom. So, just touch on that, like, how, how deep this team really is. Oh, I'll go first. Uh, we do have a lot of depth. You know, it didn't – I feel like it didn't show a lot tonight because we had so many people out. And then, you know, Jansen got hurt. Trevin was out. And then uh, – but we have a lot of players that come in and they, they contribute in their own way and they are good at, you know, their own things. And they they help us a lot where, you know, like I – I don't know. We just have a lot of depth. Everybody is good. They can come in, take – take pressure off of me. Trevin is one of the best on-ball defenders I've seen, and I feel like I'm a really good on-ball defender, too. So if I'm tired, he comes in, takes me takes me out. So, you know, we all just give each other breaks. All right, I agree with that. I feel like there's not, you know, if you look at scholarship guys, we get 13 scholarships. I feel like, you know, one through 13 guys come to compete and we're capable of competing at a high level. Uh, I mean, you know, like Deshaun Jackson, freshman, you know, his first college action, he comes out and shoots the ball confidently. Back to back three. And, you know, drills back to back threes, exactly like Cooper said. Like, you know, Michael Ward, a new guy, just came in, dunked the ball, finished around the rim. He played tough, you know, like we have, you know, that great mix of, you know, new guys plus returners that give us a lot, you know, of competitive energy and give us a lot of, you know, different looks. Like everybody's unique in their own way. We all are capable of a lot of the same things, but everybody's got their own little, you know, tweak they put into the team. So I think that's the best part. Hey guys, uh, congratulations on the first game. Uh, so I'm going to ask you kind of the pessimist question. Uh, what needs to be improved on that you guys saw tonight um, that needs to get better moving forward? Yeah, yeah definitely defense. Um, you know, they're, they're really, they're really, really 
good team. I mean, and I'm not even going to say on their level because they're, you know, they're a solid team. They get a lot of good players each and every year. Like, I mean, Kyron Jones is a stud. He led the country in rebounding at the NAI level. Like, that's, you know, that's, that's tough to do at any level. And, you know, Darren Boyd was freshman of the year. I don't know if it was in the conference or for the country, but he's a stud as well. Like, you know, they have guys that can really hoop. And so, you know, they're a good team and they're right, but we got to work on our defensive principles and get better. You know, our, our style is to, you know, to be in your face, trap, press for 40 minutes. Like, that's what we want to do. And so we got to do that and combine that on our own end of taking care of the ball as well. We want to make a lot of disruption, you know, on the defensive end and have a lot of ball security on the offensive end. How do you all feel like your chemistry was with those new players on the court? Um, I felt like it was good, you know. Um... We were all looking for each other. I think uh, how many assists we had? We had 19 assists. So I mean, we had 11 at halftime. We wanted to, you know, double that at half 22. But you know, I feel like it, it was it was good. We we all like to share the ball. I mean, we got a lot of unselfish guys. We want to see each other. You know, everybody do great. We just want to win. So I feel like it's just mindset between all of us. So right. as we said at media day, I feel like everybody's here for the you know right reasons. Everybody wants to do something special. It's gonna take a lot of sharing to do that. Like you see, Braxton had seven assists. Shot had five assists. Like you know, guys come in and do their job. You know, everybody has a job. And, you know, we're, we're trying to do our job the best we can. So. Um, so uh, <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I, I felt him on a spin. And then I knew if I came back with a crossover and then he was, he was kind of far away. So I had to just step back. And, I mean, I felt good. I felt good before that. I felt good before the game. But, no. Uh, I don't know. It just it, it felt good, so it felt. But yeah, shoot or shoot, <laughs> shoot or shoot. <laughs> Thank you. I um. 19 assists. I thought we moved the ball really good, um, you know, and then once we got going in our press and got comfortable in the game, uh, we moved in and we got great shots. And um, when you get rhythm shots and you're a pressing team, you know, good things happen. I don't know. We went on like a 17 to one run. So uh, but this was a good first game for us. We played a really good team um, that they're going to win a lot of games at their level. And, you know, and so uh, this was this was good for us. Yeah, Great way to start that it, it is. And, you know, you and I have talked about this. We've got a we were a good shooting team last year. I think we got a great shooting team this year. When you think about Michael and Jansen and Braxton and Cooper Rob and then Tay Tay shooting it better. Like we got a great shooting team. So we're going to shoot a lot of threes. And we talk about it at Eastern all the time. Like, why can't we have the hardest place to play in the country? Why can't people talk about like, man, I went to Eastern Kentucky. That was wild over there. The fans are so into it. And we want to have fun. You know, the most exciting 40 minutes in sports. So, you know, we, we came up with the woo three boom. And who knows what we'll come up with next. We'll figure something out. Well, it was a lot of fun. The fans were awesome. You know, we break the season ticket record and then, they, the students come, they get into it. The dance team's into it. The cheerleaders are into it. We even had Weber Hamilton into it. He was booming over there. So um, it's going to be contagious. It's going to be contagious. This is going to be a fun team. Hey, hey Coach, I know you with, with the depth of this team, I know trying to pick a starting five is going to be hard for you. So how did you settle on the starters for tonight's game? And would that be something that's going to be kind of fluid as you go throughout the year? It's it's going to be tough, and I, I think with our team and like we talked about on on media day, it's you know it's it's not about me, it's about us, it's about our team. So they don't they they don't really care about the starters. I don't, you know it's it it's hard because you I got to put them in there, uh, but I just want everybody to remember Michael's coming off a stress fracture. He didn't have a summer, he didn't have a preseason, so he's just now coming on. So. You know, but Michael Marino is a superstar. We all know that. We all know that. So um, we'll figure it out next game. But what it does is it makes our practices a lot more competitive. Like, you know, like Nathan and I talked about, we have these guys haven't had a bad day because it's so competitive and there's so much, there's such a mature group. 
Talk about you know, the, the way you have Braxton Beverly out there. What was it like being back out there on the court together with him? It's, it's, I love Braxton Beverly. You know, I mean, he's, a, he's the ultimate everyday guy. Um, he, I thought he played terrific. He has nine points and seven assists in 20 minutes. That was a very efficient game. So he did a good job moving the ball and keeping things simple. It wasn't anything flashy. It was just simple plays. And, you know, you think about like a guy like John Stockton, he was a simple play type of guy. So that's what you're going to see out of Braxton. What is one thing that after tonight that you'll look back and, and, and kind of point toward as you all go throughout the year that you want to work on? Yeah, we, we, got, we gave up 13 offensive rebounds, and that was a big emphasis going into the game. Like Georgetown College, they crashed the glass. If you watch them, and, you know, I've been watching Georgetown my whole life, so I know how they play. I mean, Jim Reed, Happy Osborne, Chris Briggs, they're all the same. They're all elite coaches, and they always get their guys to attack the glass, and we give up 13 offensive rebounds. Um, chairs, sometimes it looks really good. Sometimes it doesn't, uh, but that's just how we play. You know, we're constant pressure, pressure, pressure on both ends of the floor. Um, and we want to break our opponent. You know, it's like, you know, it's 10 to nine. And then you look up and we go on like a 17 to one run. And that's what, that's what happens for pressing teams. And so I, I, it was, it's always fun to, when that happens, our goal is we want to go on three different six Oh runs in, in the course of a game. And we went on four in the first half. Hey, Coach, uh, how are you guys uh, health-wise coming out of this game? I had some guys cramping up that, you know, they got to start hydrating tonight. That's when it starts. Um, I got Jansen with probably a pretty good ankle sprain. We'll see how he's doing in the morning with the swelling and, and all that. So he, he won't play on Thursday. I know that right now. So, um, you know, it's a quick turnaround, but that's part of it early on in the year. We played 15 non-conference games. So you, you have a couple different stretches in the year where games are stacked on top of each other. And then my last question is, uh, how have you seen the depth of your team help in practice and preparing for the season? Well, it, it just makes our practices so competitive. Like Deshaun Jackson, he's going to be a star at Eastern Kentucky. I, I don't know when that's going to happen, but you saw what he did when he came in. He was electric. I mean, he was uh, – it was – awesome to watch you know so you know and then Michael Wardy gets a lot of a lot of minutes tonight because Jansen goes out and Michael Michael Wardy's gonna be really good for us we got him for three years so our depth is uh has helped us because it makes our practices so much better yeah because I, I love DJ we call him DJ I love DJ I love, I love him. I loved him out of high school. Um, I, I really mean this when I say he's going to be a star at Eastern. And I used to, I told this to Tay Tay all last year. I said, Tay Tay, I don't know when it's going to happen. I don't know how, but you're going to have a huge breakthrough and you'll be an all conference player at some point. And the same things don't happen to DJ. And you saw how much confidence he played with when he went in there. He played loose, he played free, and good things happened for him. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Lee.